pretend you're sleeping. Well, I'm happy on my own. Making coffee just for one And eating breakfast all alone Fewer dishes to be done I'm never running behind You're never on my mind No longer there to make me comb my hair Fix my tie or kiss me goodbye Swear I'm happy on my own No one to worry where I am Or waiting for me to come home Staying up till 3 a.m. I'm always out on the town You're nowhere to be found And when our song comes on I just I'm along and order another round day going today oh mine's going just splendid yes i am just now getting over a cold ew my nose my nostrils are so crusty the past three days i've just been a literal floating head like that's exactly what i felt like i was in loopy doopy schmoopy land day quill night quill situation i hate being on medicine like the feeling of being on medicine i don't know like it just makes you feel so loopy and so out of it that i almost rather just feel the symptoms of the sickness because the medicine just makes me feel nauseous it makes me feel like a f like an airhead like i literally don't know what's going on my brain was just completely turned off the past few days but today i am feeling so much better i look a lot less dead since i felt good today i was like okay i need to um kind of just take myself out of that sick slumber i've been in so i definitely have to clean my apartment i have like a bunch of used tissue papers on my side of the bed over there you don't want to see that I need to change my pillow covers, my bed sheets, just pick up and clean up my house in general. I don't know, I need to like open some windows and light some candles. There's a, there's a sick vibe in here and not in a good way. So I'm taking this morning to just like do some self-care things, things that just make me feel better and put me in a better mood, kind of push me back into my routine of things. For the past like week, I've just kind of been like thrown off my routine a little bit. I had my long distance bestie from Portland come stay with me this weekend. We just kind of hung around Seattle, went out, ate some delicious food, got some drinks, had some fun on the weekend. She stayed here Friday through Sunday ended up leaving monday morning and then after she left like literally the next day i woke up and i was like oh something is wrong with my throat and that's where it all started literally for the past six 
seven days i've not gone to the gym i've not been on top of eating healthy breakfast lunch and dinner i feel very like weak and dehydrated whenever i'm sick i literally just live off of tea and soup so that's all i've been eating and even going to the gym this morning, I felt I didn't really do much, honestly. I did like a super quick leg and glute workout, and then I just tried to like do some cardio to kind of like sweat, but I felt super nauseous and lightheaded, so that got cut short. I need to just get back to eating proper meals and hydrating because when I'm sick, I cannot drink water. I know you're supposed to like stay hydrated, but I just can't like, water makes me want to throw up i i can't drink water when i'm sick i think we're just gonna rock the no makeup makeup look today because no matter what i do my makeup around my nose is gonna come off i want some dewiness look a little bit more alive some blush and some cream highlighter that's all you need baby it is a rainy spring day today this past weekend was pretty crappy I just had like cloudy rainy days the weekend before that was beautiful i think we reached almost 70 and this coming up weekend is also gonna be sunny but we have a rainy day today so that's cool whatever i'm gonna do my nails i got these kiss classy uh, press on nails at target the other day i actually have a uh, quince to go to this weekend my cousin's quince these will be perfect for that i was debating whether i wanted to go in the salon and get my nails done or if i just wanted to do press on nails i recently went in to get a pedicure but i had a set of press on nails already when i went in so i didn't end up doing anything to my nails i enjoy sitting in the comfort of my own home and spending time doing my own nails it's therapeutic it's relaxing it makes me happy so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> speaking of self-care i do want to thank the sponsor of today's video which is better help if you don't know better help is a mental health platform and they offer online counseling and therapy services you guys know we love and are all for starting therapy going to therapy on this channel i think it is really 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 important and take it from somebody like me that just was so stubborn and so set on the fact that i wasn't gonna go to therapy i didn't need to go to therapy i could deal with my issues on my own and i could work through things on my own and i've always been that type of person i know that it can be super hard to open up and be vulnerable especially with mental health and how i'm feeling my emotions situations and things that i've been through it's hard to learn to do that as an adult when throughout your childhood it just kind of wasn't something that was talked about or brought up it was just not something that was discussed and i know that is the case for a lot of families um especially a lot of hispanic households it's just not the norm so it took a while for me to kind of realize that it is okay to ask for help it literally took me reaching a breaking point to finally reach out for help and talk to someone i think it can just seem really complicated and really scary to find the right therapist that makes you feel comfortable enough to be open and vulnerable you cannot go through life only depending on yourself it's not good it's not healthy i think i've just always been that type of person that people come to for help and i've never been comfortable reaching out i don't know why for some reason like, sometimes you just feel like if you go to someone reach out and open up about what you're going through and your mental health you kind of feel like a burden sometimes which is so messed up but it's the truth like for me personally i didn't want to go to anyone and burden them with my problems and my issues and stress them out and at the end of the day that affected me because it's not good to bottle things in deal with everything on your own why isn't there a smaller pinky size better help is perfect if you're struggling to find the motivation to go out there and look for a therapist it's all online you can do it from the comfort of your own home better help connect you with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful and unbiased advice all you have to do is go to their website which i'll have down below you can use my link betterhelp.com estrella and you just answer a few questions and 
BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours, whether it's depression, anxiety, you're grieving, you're going through relationship issues. You can do it over your phone, like I said, computer, phone call, video chat, or just messaging. Whatever it is that you're most comfortable with. You'll be matched with your therapist usually within 48 hours. My favorite thing about BetterHelp, which I feel like is super helpful, is if you match with a therapist and you feel like they're not quite the right fit for you for whatever reason, does not matter, you can easily just switch therapist and BetterHelp will match you with a new therapist at no additional cost. It's hard to find the correct therapist a lot of the time on your first go. So if you want to try out BetterHelp for yourself, don't forget to go to betterhelp.com slash Estrella. You can click the links down below in my description box. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also offers you a special discount on your first month of BetterHelp. Ooh. Okay, first hand done. These are so cute. Like I mentioned, this weekend I am going to a quince. I already have in mind what I want to wear. The dress that I want to wear, I needed to get it altered. So I took it in yesterday. And <laughs> so I go to this one place. I've actually gone there like three times probably. And it's this like super sweet older Asian lady. Words cannot explain how much I love this lady. I don't know what it is. Like she just gives off such strong grandma vibes that I just feel so comfortable around her. I don't know, just the whole experience of going in and trying on clothes, her putting in like the little pins and like talking to me about how my day's going. And she's so sweet and so funny and she's like really blunt and honest how she says things and it's just I love it like it's such a grandma such a grandma thing to do so I went in with my dress and I kind of told her that I wanted to take in the waist a little bit so that it's a little more snug around the waist she's like oh this is too tight and too short <laughs> and she starts like pulling the dress down <laughs> I'm like pulling it up and she's like pulling it down <laughs> every time I go like she makes my day she's always complimenting me and she's so sweet so I took that dress in so we'll see how it looks if not I do have another option and I ordered my first pair of Tony Bianco shoes to go with my dress this weekend and they're so freaking cute oh my god not too tall and then I love the cute little bows in the front I think I'm actually gonna wear cute little socks with them I ordered some online so we'll see how that looks but I'm, I'm envisioning a whole thing here so cute I feel like press on nails are literally perfect for when you just need nails for like a specific occasion. Update on the whole Miami trip situation, okay? So that's not happening anymore. <laughs> that's not happening anymore because the, um, the girly, hi girly, I know you're watching this, that I was supposed to be going with, she got a man. She got a man now. So she's being a cute, loyal girl. And I don't know, Miami girls trip, I just feel like is very like single girl activities. So I completely 100% get it. I don't mind, it's fine. That vacation has been replaced, but I was gonna go to Miami mid May. Mid May, I have my mom's birthday and Portland Bestie's birthday. So I'm gonna be busy around that time because I'm pretty sure she wants to do something for her birthday. So I'm probably gonna be going to Oregon or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out. June, beginning of June, is when I'm gonna go to Puerto Rico. So my Miami vacation has been replaced by a Puerto Rico vacation, which I'm not mad about at all. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be going to Puerto Rico for an entire week beginning of June. We literally just got the tickets a couple days ago. We still need to find a cute place to stay at, but that's gonna be fun. I've always wanted to go to Puerto Rico. I will see you guys there in June. I'm pretty sure I'll probably vlog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll probably vlog. <laughs> Some cuticle oil and we're done. I'm gonna get dressed really quick because before I start cleaning my apartment, which I have zero motivation for right now, I wanna do something fun for myself to kind of um, hype me up a little bit, you know? <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm literally sick of hearing myself talk. Like, I'm tired of hearing you talk. I don't know how you guys are doing this. I sound so 
crappy. Um, thanks for being here. I do know that I want to get some, I need to get some new books. So we're going to stop at Barnes and Noble and pick out a few new books. And also the other day I was driving and I saw this cute little flower field and they were selling really pretty flower bouquets on the side of the road. So I'm going to try to find that again, see what they got. Platform Converse today. I'm so freaking excited. You don't understand, like nothing makes me more excited than new books. If you get it, you get it. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. <laughs> books that I got first. Look how cute. First, The Housemaid. I know that this is gonna be a really good book. Just now got my hands on it. It has really, really good reviews and I'm really excited to read it. It has a 4.3 out of five on Goodreads. This is the first one and then there's The Housemaid's Secret and then there's The Housemaid is Watching, which is the third one. I'm probably gonna read all three of them, starting off with this one. It's a thriller, psychological thriller, suspense, fiction book. I am gonna love this. Second one is this one. I recently came across not too long ago. This book just came out. It's fairly new. Right now it has a four out of five on Goodreads. This one's interesting to me because I feel like a lot of the romance type books are always kind of told from the female's perspective. Sometimes we get both, but this one is told from the guy's perspective. Set adrift on a sea of heartbreak, Andy clings to the idea of solving the puzzle of his ruined relationship because if he can find the answer to that, then maybe Jen can find her way back to him. But Andy still has a lot to learn. In this sharp, funny, and exquisitely relatable account of romantic disaster and friendship, Dolly Alderton offers up a love story with two endings, demonstrating once again why she is one of the most exciting writers today and the true voice of a generation. Romance, rom-com type of book. I have high hopes for this one. Lastly, originally I was gonna get a different Abby Jimenez book. The one that I was thinking of getting was Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez because you guys know how I felt about yours truly by her. Still probably my favorite um, romance book I have ever read my type of romance book for sure and so i was like i need to read more from her because i wonder if that's just like a one off situation or if i'll actually like a lot of her books they didn't have just for the summer at least not on the shelf i didn't ask they had this one on there it's called the friend zone so we'll see two romance books in one thriller usually not like me i don't know i just wanted something a little more light-hearted i stopped at the little flower shop that i told you guys about the guy working there was so sweet he was like go 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 just making these bouquets all the flowers there were so pretty he had just like buckets full of like tulips and all different kinds of flowers. After seeing how pretty they were, I was like, oh my god, I need to get one for my mom. So I'm gonna take one to my mom tomorrow when I go see her. So pretty. Oh, also, I have another child. Let me introduce you to my second child. Shit. 
Yeah, I'm such a bad mom. I already forgot what this plant is called. <laughs> I have it on my phone because I had to look up how to care for her. I have her here for now because I feel like this is where I get the most natural lighting. This plant was actually a gift to me from The Rock. It's so cute and I love her. She's thriving. She's doing good. I'm keeping her alive. There's no, I have no option. There's no choice. You're not the only pretty girl here now. We have to tell her that she's pretty. I think this plant actually grows, I think like three and a half feet. Once it starts growing a lot, I'll probably move her over to my room. My first real house plan because everything else in my apartment right now is fake. Other than flowers, of course. I just got this package from Revolve the other day. So many new clothing items in here. I'm actually gonna do probably like an IG reel showing you guys what I got. Olaplex just sent me their new brow serum and lash serum. I'm really excited because I literally just ran out of my brow serum that I was using before. All right, let me shut up and get to cleaning. Bye.